guys welcome back thanks again for joining me let's get back to where we were on this 1983 volvo 242 and uh today's video is going to be a little bit uh kind of like one of those uh, makeup haul videos uh you know where they uh show you all the stuff that they bought because that's kind of what's going on uh right here let's uh let's get some of this stuff out of the bag and i'll show you what i got first all, i got some four inch pioneers four ways to go in the uh, front doors hopefully those should fit their four inches so hope you know uh mounted you know diagonally like so in a square so that ought to fit if it doesn't we can always uh we can always try to modify some things or i can find some different speakers either way i think that these should work just fine okay. And then, uh, let's see, more sandpaper for the present that's coming tomorrow that should make getting the cowl job done a lot better. Got some uh, gray, se gray seam sealer for the body, for the interior, and uh, this stuff, all right? Got some Bondo body, and I remember it says body filler, okay? A lot of people have some really strong opinions about the use of this stuff. Now, I'm going to stake my claim right here and right now, just so that everybody knows up front, I am not using this stuff to repair any structural part of the car that is integral to, you know, the, the, the frame and stuff like that. This stuff is body filler. It is for filling in divots and dents in the body so that they can be smoothed out a lot easier. It's a little bit easier than tapping it back the other direction. And you know, it's it's used for a lot of different stuff. And what I will be using it for is to fill in pock marks and to fill in holes that are going to be about the size of a nickel or smaller, right? I've heard of people using say that you don't ever fill in holes that are the size of a BB. I've heard people say that you don't use this stuff to fill in holes, period. I will be using it to fill in some holes in the floor pan, in some parts where there will be uh, some, some flex needed, but not too much flex, and it's going to remain mostly rigid for the most part, and also sandwiched in between several other layers of paint and undercoating and other stuff and uh, in a place that is not going to be integral to the frame. I plan on using this stuff to also fill in the uh, front cowl. I may have to use some supporting material on some of those bigger uh, holes, but I do not plan on using this stuff to uh, fill in any holes or use it on any frame pieces or any other structurally integral part of the car. I just want people to understand that right off the bat when I say that I'm gonna be using this stuff, I'm gonna be using it uh, very, very conservatively. And, uh, you know, and also not be using it as just like a one schlop done fix. It, I need to be using this stuff properly. And so I will be doing that, all right. So where we left off, all right, that does it for our unboxing. Well, I got some cigarettes and I have something that I can use to flatten, smear the Bondo flat, use it to kind of mix stuff up with. Uh, I'm gonna use like, uh, I can use any non-porous material to mix this stuff up on, not a big deal. Where did we leave off here? So as you can see, the dashboard is out now. A lot of the interior is just straight up out. I know this looks like an absolute mess. I promise I'm going to be cleaning up a little bit. I need to pick up like some some of these bits. Need to go into the parts bin over here. Well, the parts. It's spilled over the parts box. It is now just the parts area. Uh, all right, I'm just taking that. We are still in the process of removing the flooring. Everything over here seems to be looking just fine. I want to take a uh, a 
do want to take a, uh, a Dremel to that area down in there and kind of like try to find the last little bits of rest that are going to be on this area over here that I'm treating before I move on to finishing up this up here. Some good news though for the windshield though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry about my throat really. But what we have is after I took the dash out, I realized that a lot of this damage looks like it's going to be exterior. The windshield does need to come out in order for me to fill these holes. But they're fillable. And the best part is that if you take a look along the interior, I'm not seeing a whole lot of corrosion making its way in here. Maybe a little bit right there. That looks like where one of the main leaks might be coming from right there. So maybe right here might be giving us some issues. But other than that, the metal around the edges, I need to get some of this edging down still. But this is not the original butyl. This is some urethane that somebody has installed. So this will be a little bit easier to undo before we reinstall it again. It's a much better job done. So this is, I think this is where like a lot of our main leakage is coming from. I do need to check down in there because that you can, you can kind of see where the leakage is coming through down in there. Just kind of watching for the rust stains and stuff and where it all sort of winds up. But I do want to go ahead and get this nice and sealed up in here. And uh, yeah, I think that we will be in business. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, I am excited to go ahead and get started on this for the day. Uh, looks like we're going to be doing... Uh, more floor work, uh, just more detailing. Uh, kind of going to hold off on this until we're ready to get the windshield out and stuff like that. Today would be a really nice day to do it, but I kind of want to wait until it's a little bit warmer in here. So that way I'll have a little bit of an easier time to uh, getting the urethane undone. And it's supposed to be about like 60, 70 degrees today. And so that's just not ideal. I do want to get the rear windows unmounted and also get these rear brackets taken off so that I can be prepared to take some paint remover to these pieces because these pieces are painted on both sides. I don't know why they weren't taken off. So I'm going to take them off and uh, unpaint those <laughs> so that I can uh, have my, my little corner pieces back again. Right, and so no real rust repair needed in this one, I don't think. The other corner is looking pretty gnar, but the back windshield seems to have held up pretty nicely. So not a lot of exterior glass rust to really handle other than the windshield and the passenger side rear window. We're just gonna go ahead and just dive right back into this head first and uh, I'll show you what we're up to here in a little bit. So after some scrubbing, a lot of scraping, still needs more done, but <laughs> oh man, just need to sweep all that out through the hole in the floor. What's in there? Yeah. Oh boy, there's, yeah, there's some crap under here, especially under there. So, I'll be surprised whenever we get over uh, there and uh, take a look and see. All right, so what I did was I sprayed a bunch of my soapy water mixture down into that front little air intake grill there to see if I could get it to drip down into the cabin somewhere. And I don't see where, if it would come in, if it would come in, it would be, have to be like at highway speed. It'd be, it'd be moving pretty fast, uh, I think, in order to get that to move. But 
not seeing any real intrusion, do need to go ahead and do the windshield anyway. At least get this side of it. <laughs> yeah. This looks like a, this is a salvage yard windshield. to that after we're done down here it's pretty freaking messy but uh sandy boy's coming in tomorrow and i will be able to get the sanding done be a lot nicer to my to my elbow and my wrist here but uh yeah now just trying to check and see where all the crest is at where it ends got a few more holes there here and there and there yeah, nothing there. And the other side is a whole different story. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks for sticking with me on this one. I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick little break, and then we'll strip one last panel, because doing this whole thing, just like half of this thing, was was pretty hard, just because the angle that I have to be at in order to get to some of the, the scraping underneath there, it's not very pleasant. And so uh, I think it'll be much nicer once I finally get the rest of this stuff up, get the rest of the floor looking like this. I kind of tried to do a little bit of dremeling, a little bit of scraping on the, the metal here to try and uh, see where the pock marks all need to be filled up at. Basically, the whole floor will look like this, and then I'll scrape up the areas that have places that need to be filled in. Try to get a little bit more of the rust back in there. I may just have to spray over that and pray to God that no more water intrudes in the cabin. <laughs> it usually seems to be the MO in a lot of these rust jobs. Uh, and I'm not too, I'm not gonna, I mean like I'm already, you know, waist deep into this thing and so I'm not really too entirely daunted by the, uh, the potential of uh, even more, doing even more while I'm out here. But, I would like to get this done by July, and at the rate that I'm moving, it seems like it's looking that way for me, and I'm pretty happy with that, you know? Like, it's just sad looking at this thing with it all, to the dash all taken apart, all this stuff just kind of laying around everywhere, you know? Wants to get back on the road real fast using a lot of that stuff. Get ready. Yep, got our cot gun for whenever we reseal the floor. And then I have a plan, but I kind of want it to be a little bit of a surprise, but I am going to be re-sanding and re repaying, you know, trying to get the, 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 the rust and the crap off of these panels, as well as I need to... Oh, Easy. Yeah, the battery box is worse for wear. I would love to yoink that out, give it a good sand, and uh, reinstall it with uh, the uh, the kit that I ordered. Neat little installation kit that will hold the battery in place just fine for many years to come. And uh, yeah, look, there is the radiator I installed. Everything seems to be looking in order up here. So I haven't really been fussing around much with the engine lately. It runs just fine. And so uh, mechanically speaking, we are sound. At this point, it is uh, all up to getting this bodywork managed and getting the rust mitigated on this thing before I can start really taking it places really putting some miles on it, especially now that I have the odometer repaired. Oh, I'm pointing there where it goes, and it's down there is where it's hiding. And <laughs> yeah, so I can actually put some miles on this thing again, now that I have, yeah, now that I have everything up here all settled, 
this thing will be pleasant to drive again, not having to reach under here to honk my horn at people and uh, not having to use an, uh, an old extra cell phone that I have laying around to, uh, to see how fast I'm going. Everything else can come after that. In the meantime, I, I really do thank y'all for uh, hanging with me on this. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, see what I'm dealing with here? All right, so uh, yeah, let's take a break. And then we'll scrape. Let's. I want to scrape off this panel. I know that 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 it's going to be kind of a pain, but I'm I'm going to get back in here and I'm going to scrape off this panel, try and get it nice and cleaned up a little bit, just so that we can kind of see the extent. Finally, you know, I've been showing you guys this hole for the past like five videos now. I realize, but I really do think that once I repair this major hole here and. and it, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, then up there, not, nah, here though, I don't want my rear passengers to be putting their feet through the floor. Everything, all these other holes up here are small enough to where I can mitigate them, you know, in my own due time. This, however, though, this cannot fly. And I know that I've been talking about it for literally like the past 100 freaking videos, but let's go ahead and scrape up this shielding here and actually see the extent of the rust damage that's going on here specifically. All right, everyone, let's take a look, see here. I cleaned up okay. A lot of that you're seeing is uh, underneath there, but let's take a little bit closer look at the metal here. Yeah. So this is the extent of the damage on the floor. I got them all. So, so you can kind of see where it ends and where it begins again some spots right here where it hasn't quite gone all the way through yet should be salvageable up to a point at least you know at least like cut it along there to there to there just replace this entire square here shouldn't be that hard to butt it in uh, hasn't eaten quite through the support there so that's good at least there will be some some lip to actually weld it onto <laughs> once we actually get it in. Possibly. We'll see. I'm gonna have to take a little bit of the insulation off this here too just to get back at the rust that's going on underneath here. Take a leap take a look underneath the so the seat supports here. Because it hasn't really gone quite that far back, but pretty far back underneath this here. So yeah. So yeah, you can see exactly how much real metal is left here. And then, after all that, we move on to this bad boy. So, <laughs> thank y'all for sticking with me. I know I keep on saying it, but I truly, truly mean it. Uh, if you're keeping up with this, uh, with this build, it's not really a build but I've also been told by several people that it doesn't count as a restoration either. So I don't know what the, what this counts as me screwing around, jacking my dick. I don't know. Uh, but either way, I am glad if you're watching and you're enjoying yourself and I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one and, uh, we'll bring you back next time for whenever we, uh, do this final panel here and, uh, yeah, we'll get moving. I think that we can safely call that a stopping point right there. I know that in the last clip I said I was going to go ahead and end it, but I went ahead and I took the uh, took the sound deadening off of this front here. And you can kind of see, ooh, yeah, we're in for some nasty business. A little bit of a sum sum right there. And then maybe I think I saw a very, very small pinhole right through there not really sure how much further i'm going to go with that mostly just want to get it to the point where i can get the panel out and uh start doing a little bit of repair but basically you're gonna have i do want to take this whole panel out you know it's looking pretty nasty it's got some spots that i don't think i'd be comfortable just fondling over uh, so, 
I think what I need to do at this point is go ahead and I already have this panel here. Uh, and I think that what I just should go ahead and do is just source this panel here too, which I think I can still get those on eBay. I'm not entirely sure if you know where a good reliable place where I can get them from. I know that I got, oh shit. <laughs> Knocking shit over. I know that I got this one over here from key parts and I'm not sure if I'm going to use them again. I might just go ahead and go through them to see if they have the correct front panel here. And uh, yeah, shouldn't be that hard to source. So if not, then maybe I will just go to Home Depot and grab some sheet metal and just be done with it. Because <laughs> I'm tired of looking at it in this condition. I'd really love nothing more than to get this all just put back to a place where it's you were not gonna put my foot through it or anything. Yeah. <sighs> but the other side is coming along nicely. Let's take a look at that. So we started over here. All right. So we got that panel all nice and cleared out. Got the holes that we need to patch up, all ready to go. Over here, same story. Get it all sanded down, get it all sprayed up, and then get it ready to uh, do a little bit of welding, do a little cutting and welding, and uh, yeah. Woohoo, all right. Well, that's it for today, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I will see y'all in the next one. Virginia!